we are living in unprecedented times. Each day we are receiving communications regarding changes in our work, school, faith communities, as well as our cities and states, our nation and our world. This week our students at Loyola have been adjusting to life back home. The faculty have been prepping for our online classes. And administrators have been creating plans and having to adapt them based on the news coming forth from city, state, and federal government in order to provide us with safety and take precautions for our health. We're all attempting to do our best and to, adapt and to adapt to these days of social distancing and transition. And perhaps now more than ever, it is important for us to commit to a prayer practice or disciplines as we navigate these uncharted waters and process so much information about COVID-19, this pandemic, which has changed our world and our lives. And we think about how to keep ourselves, our families, and our community safe and healthy. And as people for and with others, it's important for us to take care of ourselves so we are able to generously offer loving responses to the needs of the world around us. And there are many ways we could experience prayer, but we're part of Loyola University, Maryland, a Jesuit Catholic institution, and so I want to offer you an examine to reflect on all that you've been through this last week, all you've experienced. And St. Ignat Ignatius offers us the examine which is a very practical tool for prayer and reflection. It helps us to nurture gratitude, be reflective, to pay attention to God's movement in our lives, to recognize where we have come up short, and to look towards tomorrow with hope. So, I offer you this examine. And as we begin, I invite you to find a quiet, comfortable spot to sit. And when you're ready, I invite you to close your eyes. Take this opportunity to quiet your mind and your body. An easy way to do this is to focus on your breathing. So first I invite you to become aware of your breathing simply noticing as your breath enters your body and as you exhale. Breathing in and out. Noticing as the air enters your body. Be mindful of the life that flows through your body with each breath. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, release any tension or stress you're holding in your body, any distractions that keep you from being fully present. And take another deep breath and let it out slowly. Continuing to breathe slowly and deeply, I invite you to become aware of God's presence. Imagine how you are surrounded by God's love, sustained and held in that love. And resting in God's love, ask God for what you need from your time in prayer today.
And as we begin, I invite you to call to mind something or someone you are most grateful for. Perhaps someone who helped you today or earlier this week. Maybe it's a small comfort you experienced. Did someone offer a kind word or praise? Maybe it was simply watching the way the sun filtered through the trees. Or it was someone who listened, laughed, or cried with you. Or maybe it was the act of going on a walk. As we move through this examine, remember to follow your breathing and allow your imagination and memory to guide you. Pay attention to what feelings are surfacing. Notice what ideas and questions come forth. Breathing in, breathing out. And when you're ready, I invite you to think back through this week. Where were you when the week began? What happened? See yourself moving through the day or the days of the week. Who did you encounter? What did you do? What was memorable? Are there places or people you wish to revisit or linger with? Are there pl places or people or days you want to speed through? Is there an, over, an overall feeling or emotion you associate with this day or this week? How are you arriving in this moment? And as you reflect back on this day or week, call to mind what you were least grateful for in this week or day. Was there an interaction, a piece of news, a frustration, a worry, something that felt life draining to you? Examine what it was about that moment that made it difficult. Be with the experience, not trying to fix it or change it, but simply noticing how you were feeling and what was occurring. And then turning towards God 
offer that moment to God and invite God into it. Now, as you move through the day or the week, pay attention to, for, to what you're most grateful for. Is there somewhere you felt most alive? A place where you received or a place where you gave love. Maybe it's where you felt the greatest sense of belonging to yourself, to others, a community, or to God. What was the high point? Where did you experience hope or joy? For what are you most grateful for? Notice that moment, that person, that experience. Examine what it was about that moment that you were grateful for. Be with that experience. Simply noticing what you're feeling and what was occurring. And give thanks to God for that moment. As you move through the day or the week, notice if there was a place where you missed the mark, you came up short, or perhaps acted not out of your best self. Maybe it was a conversation gone wrong, an action not taken. Words you wish you could take back. A relationship you've neglected. An experience or relationship where you desire forgiveness or healing. Where is that place where you came up short this week or today? I invite you to offer that moment to God. Inviting God into that place. And asking for God's healing. As we look towards tomorrow in this coming week, I invite you to ask God for what you need in this moment. I invite you to return to your breathing, noticing as your breath enters your body, filling your lungs, and exiting through your nose. 
Take another deep breath. And exhale. Take one more deep breath. And exhale. And when you're ready, open your eyes and return back to this moment. And let us close with a prayer. Loving and gracious God, receive our prayers, our concerns, our anxieties and burdens and wounds in these unprecedented times. Receive our gratitude and hope and nurture their growth within our hearts and mind. Ever-present God, help us to discern your presence and work in our lives so we might offer freely and generously our loving response to you and the world. May God bless us all. Amen.